Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a website with a full screen, um, a full image that it covers up the whole website, whether you're on a desktop or mobile device. Now I'm also going to be putting text on to show you how you can do that without pushing down the image or whatever, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get started. So first we're going to type the main things, um, doc type, html. Okay, and then we're going to put HTML tags, and then put body tags, and last but not least, style tags. The reason why I'm not putting um, a head tag is I don't need it for anything. I'm not doing a title or anything. The, I'm not linking it to a CSS um, file. I'm just doing it styles here because it's not that much styling, so I'm not going to connect it or thing. Okay, now what we're going to do is add a div this is going to be the container file background image we'll call it bg for background then down here in our styles what we're going to do is get background oops we're going to be selecting hashtag bg to select the id and then what we're going to be doing is we to type background image and then just type URL and then that. Just put quotes in as well. I'm going to get my image in Google. This was the image I wanted, so I could just go like that. Copy image URL. Make sure to click on it, but don't click on this because then I'll go to the website. But I just do it this way. Even if you don't get the whole thing, I get the main thing. And then you get quite a nice picture over here. Might not be the highest resolution you can get, but just quick. And then we'll just run it in Chrome. Now, as you can see, you can't see it, and that's for a reason. Since we we'll put it on it in a div, then it's the background of this, but we haven't displayed what we want, like what size the div should be. So we want the width 100%, and then we want the height to 100 V. H. So what this will do is, so let's refresh it. So as you can see, it's taken up the whole thing. But there's one last thing we have to do, and this still isn't yet finished. But something that will make it look a lot better. Um, star the universal selector, which selects everything, and then we just do a margin, and then do no that no margin is given. And that will look a lot better now. I'm trying to scroll, but nothing is happening. And now the only border is the browser's border. Okay, now this is really looking amazing. And as we see, when we shrink it, it it just keeps like that. But that's good because we get a good image of it. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is put text on it. Now we're still going to put a little bit more content to so show. Sorry. And to show how we can put more things on it without it and still have the full image. So we'll do um, content one. Then we'll do content two. Okay, now let's go here and do hashtag content um, one. And then we're going to put that um, width equals 100% and height will be the same so as you can see 100 vh what it's going to do is allow it so it allow it to be a whole nother page um, and the image will still be a full image when you come on so I'm also going to do a background color I can see that's actually there um, nice bright color that we can see that it's done and um, let's do that as you can see, it's still got the image there, so like your landing page. Then when someone scrolls up, it's got a nice whole red thing. So, and then we're going to do one last one, which is going to be um, the next content. So for content two, it'll be very simple. Just change a few little things. Um, color green, just so we can see. Very nice, bright colors. And then, as you can see, it's going to change. So it's very nice when you come on the website, then you go on to the next part of it, and then the next part, which looks really cool actually. Okay, 
maybe the design isn't amazing because of the colors but it's just to show you now we're going to show how to put text so the way we do this is go we want to put text on the main just when you land on it so you can go h1 and then we're going to um, type this is the title dot okay now what we're going to do is um, go to the CSS and select um, our background h1 and then we're going to go um, first thing we want is we don't want um, the position absolute which will let us change it anywhere without affecting any other elements and then we're going to do um, so let's say we didn't put position absolute um, let's see what will be there so since it's a background image we don't need to push down anything so you just do position absolute to make sure that nothing happens Oops. absolute Okay. now we're going to do um, right zero no, nothing will be on the right left zero now top we want I think we'll do 20% so it'll be good on this now when we shrink it to a mobile device it'll still be 20% which will be good try like this it'll always be 20% and it looks good so when you land on it you know it's, it's a very very small device it'll be like this so the website still looks good and everything um never mind about the design or anything um just putting it back to the screen recording size and then we go back to uh, the code then we can do like margin um we can do margin top we'll do one pixel and then auto and then we might just need display block Let's make a nice centered image oops I don't want to start text align center okay we've got that there we'll make a nice color white font family to Arial then that should be a nice thing and I can change everything else but this is the text on the image and it looks very good and as you can see each one of these is one page which is good so you got that and then the next page is red with the content over there and you can have a navigation bar that just slides down to this content so thank you for watching if you like the video like it and I'll see you on the next video